What's going on guys? Big day today, season opener for Charleston Battery playing my old club FC Tulsa. I'm just so excited. Today I've just done like my typical pregame routine, nothing crazy, stayed at home most of the day, had my typical breakfast and my typical walk, took my 45 minute nap, hour long nap, and now I'm gonna hop in the shower to get all freshened up before I leave for the stadium. So let's do it. Okay, it is 4.15, I'm all ready to go. Um, I'm headed out of here at 4.30, Brooke's gonna come pick me up. I'm wearing the team polo and then just some jeans and shoes, that's about it. We have to wear the, uh, the team polo for the game, so we're all looking together in uniform. Here's what I'm bringing to the game. It's not much because most of my stuff is already in the locker room. I have my backpack, I have a little thermos with the coffee that I just made. I have some sweats. Um, just in case I get pulled out of the game, it's gonna be pretty cold tonight, so I wanna be ready for that. I have a quarter zip jacket, phone, wallet, keys, and then I have a little change of clothes because after the game, I'm probably gonna grab dinner uh, with my entire family, Mimi's family, everybody. So I'm gonna pack this up and just wait it on Burke now. All right, guys, before we get into the first match of the 2022 season, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Good Shop. Good Shop is a flexible subscription service for high quality meat and seafood. They deliver all American and all natural cuts straight to your door and never have any antibiotics or added hormones. They were kind enough to send me one of their boxes and I thought I would unbox it here on camera to show you what they sent me. Okay, so first we have a few packages of these boneless skinless chicken breasts. Boom. Next we got some beef filet mignon. Here is some 100% grass fed beef ribeye steak. Big one right here, we got wild caught Pacific cod, probably about nine fillets. Here we have some boneless skinless chicken thighs, organic and free range. And last we have some New York strip steak. So all of these are born, raised and harvested in the USA with no antibiotics or added hormones. And all of these animals have an all vegetarian diet. All of these subscription plans are 100% customizable, which means you can just hop on their website and choose exactly what meat products or seafood products you want shipped to your door. All you have to do is just go to their website and browse their selection. It's super easy to navigate, it's straightforward, and it only takes a couple of minutes. You also can receive two different box sizes, the medium, which is up to 14 pounds, or the large, up to 28 pounds. Their meat is also not just minimally processed, or it comes with no artificial ingredients. It actually comes with no added hormones, no growth promotants, no antibiotics, and no preservatives. It's healthier for you, and more delicious. Anyway, that wraps up pretty much everything that Good Shop sent me. I'm so thankful that they sent me this box, so thankful that they sponsored this video. And if you guys are interested in checking out Good Shop, then click the link in my description and use code BECOME100 for $100 off your first three boxes. That's $50 off your first box, $30 off your second box, and $20 off of your third box. Once again, thank you to Good Shop for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the vlog. Underway. Glad to have you with us on ESPN Plus. It's FC Tulsa and Charleston Battery. I can get Tyler. Number one pack. Yeah. Thank you. That's uh, Matt Sheldon in the Charleston starting lineup this evening. We spent plenty of time with FC Tulsa, who's looking to advance possession here in the attacking third. 
Now a shot from distance, just over the bar, and an early opportunity for FC Tulsa. And now a breakaway here after it was misplayed in the back. Here's going to be an opportunity for Williams. Pushes it forward. It's the opening tally of the 2022 campaign. And it's Augustine Williams putting Charleston on top. There's the answer to the trivia question, who is going to have the first goal for Charleston in the 2022 season? Mr. Williams, number nine, to get the job done. And nice moves on the goal celebration on the other side. <laughs> Getting a little gritty with it. FC Tulsa looking to answer. Not a bad effort. Just outside the six and rises over the bar. Outstanding on the counter. And just the speed on this one. You got the room. You have the space. There's numbers and friends to the left. Returning to Charleston for his second season with the black and yellow. Coming out. Booth got a touch to it. This batter substitution is brought to you by Home Team Barbecue. Charleston still in a, an attacking area here. Ashley, oh, well done by Sheldon. He goes far posts. It's a little too strong, though. So DZ Harmon, who subbed in just after the half, will queue it up. Going far post. Got a head on it. Brett St. Martin, quarterback, couldn't direct it to goal. More contact here. And here's going to be uh, another yellow. And this is that's going to be the DaCosta's second on DaCosta. Wow, what a development right now. Ball second is high in the air. A red card and match ejection has been issued to FC Tulsa's number 10. Not a bad set piece there, but no black and yellow jersey to receive. He'll play it in once more. Carlson got ahead to it. And I'll tell you what, Lewis was going to be safe there. 80th minute here, a set piece. The wall got to it, they'll reset. This one got a little further. Guzminski had to be solid. For Tulsa tonight, despite all the attempts. Here's Sheldon. Nice move to be able to send it in. Well done. And Tulsa had to be sharp defensively to make sure nothing else happened. Matt Sheldon can really put the ball in dangerous areas. Well, this got through to the near post. Shot on goal, and tell you what, Kuzminski had to do well there. That looks like it was on a beeline to the upper 90. Might be a different story. It's Rivas, who's scored plenty of times from that kind of spot in, that, in the preseason. The Carolina Cup challenge, and tonight, a 1-0 victory over FC Tulsa to start the Connor Casey era. <laughs> Sports 